Hey everyone, hey yodelers. Um, I'm so excited because I get to spend the day today with my son on a mommy-son date. He's gonna take me to the aquarium. Uh, we're gonna go to Chick-fil-A for lunch and grab some frozen yogurt at Menchie's and just uh, go shopping, do just bonding, which is amazing because he's 11 years old and still wants to spend time with me. Um, you know what? I'm going to move this camera up a little bit like that <laughs> so you're not looking at my double chin um so remember last week i talked to you guys a little bit about barbara shepherd and um, her book river bend as well as her fiber art piece that she was donating for my virtual book launch party that's happening on february 24th at 7 p.m central standard time well this week i'd like to showcase another author and uh, so instead of barbara shepherd's river bend which is a historical women's fiction novel based in the 1830s. Um, I'm going to showcase a children's author. And this is the book, Ready, Set, Sloth. <laughs> so Janie Mary is the author for Ready, Set, Sloth. This is her very first book. It took her three years to do uh, from conception to publication. It went through the ringer and went through a lot of heart and soul and heartache. Um, but now we have happiness, yay, because it's actually here. I think it published in November of 2020. Um, it took a while to, you know, find the right illustrator, get the story right, um, get the number of pages right, and um, have a Kickstarter campaign to actually fund and pay for this publication. But um, it is here, and I love this book. I've already read it three times. It is a... Uh, story about being authentic and true to yourself and teaches you that what you think is a weakness uh, is actually or could be your strength and so it's a valuable lesson for kids to learn about and so if you have a little one in your life um, definitely get this book it is so cute and darling so Janie is giving us an autographed copy, which will be raffled off on February 24th. And um, it comes with a $5 Barnes & Noble gift card and this really sweet, cute little bookmark. So thank you, Janie, very much. So Janie and I met at the Yukon Writers Society uh, in Yukon, Oklahoma last year at a, or no, two years ago, I think, at a conference. Um, she is the sweetest person and if you get a chance hop on over to youtube find amy hamilton subscribe uh, she's got a podcast called 24 authors in 12 hours where she interviews 24 authors in 12 hours boom 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 it's like speed dating with authors but each author gets 30 minutes to talk about their book talk about their journey and um it's a really sweet one. So I think November 11th was when they did the the interview. And if you look for Amy Hamilton's episode with Janie Mary, you can check that out and learn more about Janie's journey in, in um, bringing this to life. Okay, so before I say goodbye, um, just wanna do a quick shout out to, again, Albina Koo and Kathy Pierce. Those are the two who are going to be co-hosting my virtual book launch party, which uh, they also co-hosted my very first virtual book launch party last September for Snow in Seattle. A little bit about Kathy. She lives in Seattle. We met in uh, we met at Microsoft, and then we went our separate ways, you know, and pursued our dreams and our passions. She is now a career coach and life development coach. Uh, I am so proud of her uh, and I will say that if you have the opportunity to work with a career coach or a life coach, they are invaluable. Uh, me personally, I had a career coach back in my Microsoft days and it leaps and bounds um, within three months. I was from, I went from a stagnant position to an elevated position of visibility which also allowed me to make six figures at Microsoft, travel nationally, internationally, work with senior leadership team members, meet amazing people. I was able to afford to pay off my school loans, buy a house, get married, have a baby, you know, get two cars, like the American dream. And um, 
I can't say enough good things about career coaches and life coaches. So if you feel like you're stuck and you want to go to the next level, you see yourself in a certain direction, but you can't get there, that coach will make you accountable and help you pave that path and set concrete goals. Now, on to Alvina. Alvina um, worked at one point for the UNHCR um, back in the old days when she would travel long distances to go to the refugee camp in Singapore on Hawkins Road and she would work with the refugee children there, teaching them English, um, bringing them books, just playing with them, helping them to feel um, normal until they, they got a home and got a sponsorship to another country. So um, Alvina and I met through Facebook on a refugee camp page and uh, she is the founder of Educare for You in Singapore, which is a school that helps children to um, learn life skills, learn English. Um, you know, a lot of these students, I think, are expat students um, or, or children of expats, and uh, it's invaluable for um, for them to learn more about uh, culture and uh, life skills, how to be a functioning. Um, civilian or adult that contributes to society, right? Anyways, check out Educare for You in Singapore. It's it's beautiful what Alvina is doing. And I think with that, that's all I have to say. Uh, join me next week and I will showcase another donation prize giveaway um, from a friend or even people I haven't met or have never met before. They donated some gifts for this, um, this raffle that we're doing. So um, thank you so much, everyone, and uh, make it a great day. Bye.